Well, fair to say the class of 2020 had a difficult year, but when the going gets tough, the tough get going. In fact, they're going to Antarctica. Several matrix are heading to the world's coldest continent. They're part of an expedition led by the well-known adventurer Rian Mansa. He's with me now uh, along this afternoon with uh, Boketlo Lamula, one of the uh, lucky pupils on the team. To both of you, a very warm welcome. Boketlo, to you, first of all, I understand that you've just found out the news. How do you feel and do you have a warm coat? I feel very excited, but quite nervous, of course. I'm still in disbelief. <laughs> what are you hoping to learn? I'm hoping to learn a lot, especially about climate change. You know, the climate is changing, and not many people are trying to do something to actually help the situation. So I'm really hoping to learn a lot that will help me to make a change in the world. Rian Mansa. Those are noble sentiments indeed. Is that the intention, principally for these uh, fabulous young South Africans to learn about climate change, or is there more to it? Jeremy, I think for some of us that have been lucky to have been um, um, guided by others and with mentorship, we've realized how valuable it's been. And um, these um, students, they're adults now, they're in the real world. We're going to be taking them and trying to make the, the intentions that they have which theoretically I believe are the, the, the basis of them right now. We want to turn that into action. So of course, Jeremy, we want to do that. But what we want to do is we want to take their ideas and we want to show them that there is a process and a path to walk to actually make an impact. We can't just have millions of people around the world talking about climate change and pointing fingers. We need people sitting back deciding what action needs to be taken. Boy, Kettler, what are your expectations of this uh, once-in-a-lifetime trip, I guess? And what do you know about Antarctica? I actually only recently learned quite a lot about Antarctica. One of the things I learned is that it is no owner. <laughs> I didn't know that, and I never really asked myself that. And when I come back, I hope I can put into use what I learn, especially all the experiments that we're going to do, every single thing that we're going to learn. I hope to use it to try to bring a change in the world. Rian Mansa, it's not just a Boiketlo, there are others as well. Uh, what was the criteria? How were they chosen? Um, it's an unfair space to be in, uh, Jeremy. It's, uh, you know, you've got to look at all these talented kids. Originally, when we had put out the call, we went across the country and we thought possibly we're just going to have these maths and science um, um, superstars pop out of the woodwork and just um, inundate us. But we landed up sp um, getting uh, a response from people in the most strangest of um, corners of South Africa. Um, so no, the criteria was definitely that these guys had an understanding and an Afrikaans should say a begrip, a, a grasp of what the environmental impact really meant. But I tell you one thing that we did do with, with um, Professor Jonathan Janssen and with um, Mareka and with Fudley as the judges, we scratched a little bit deeper. We wanted to know if they understood that solving the world's environmental problem started at home. Now that seems like Facebook um, chatted between you and me. But if we are going to solve that problem, we can't be looking just over the horizon and over the neighbor's face. Start in your own backyard. Rion, how tough is this trip going to be for these young South Africans, given that uh, you know, you've, you've done some fairly extreme stuff yourself in the past, haven't you? Yeah, we're not looking at um, making these guys suffer beyond more than they need to. Um, I'm, I'm really, obviously, I'm, I'm aware that um, Antarctica is a tough place. I think some of them are going to be in a little bit of a, uh, of a, a rude awakening, I think, when it comes to the severity of that minus. And when, it, when the temperature said for us uh, two, three weeks ago, minus 10, minus 15, Jeremy, it was a minus 30 that was happening because of the wind. So we know it's going to be already uncomfortable for them because of the cold. But I'm thinking that we are going to look after them and make sure that everybody comes back alive. That's priority number one. Boketla, you're listening to Rian Mansa. I know that you're excited, and I'm sure that your family is as well. But when I hear temperatures with the wind chill of minus 30 degrees, how does that make you feel? Oh, it doesn't make me feel...
<laughs> uh, yeah, the temper, the, the picture froze as well. Not as frozen as minus 30 degrees. Rian Mansa, you still there? I am, definitely. We seem to have lost uh, Boyketla, but I think a, a, a magnificent choice. Um, we'll see if we can get her back in just a moment. What informed your thinking behind this? Why, why is it so important to inculcate this type of experience on young South Africans? Jeremy, many good things have happened to me over the last 20 years. Um, people like yourself, I mean, just as just one of them, and it's not to blow smoke um, in, in places, but, um, you know, there's been times when people have reached out and made things possible for me. Um, the Mr. Mandela calling me and asking me to come meet with him, him telling me when we sat down that um, my journey around Africa was going to inspire the youth of the continent. Imagine a man that has met the most influential in the world, and he sits doesn't rush, spends time, sips his tea slowly, and tells me that that is what's going to happen. A naive little 29-year-old didn't understand that, and I realize now that is the bigger picture that I'm starting to realize. Jeremy, I need to be finding ways. And in, in some circles, I'm considered a difficult guy. Um, get to know me a little bit better, and just that I'm, I really just want to try and um, separate, you know, talk from action. And if we're going to be taking five students and giving them this bucket list opportunity they better deliver they better show us how they're going to take this opportunity and fly so um for me it was just essentially as the old um uh, 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 cliche goes or as the violin gets out and starts serenading in the background i just want to give back if this is a start of it so be it but um boy Kettler and the other four are very very special kids south africa can look at th those kids look at themselves and they're not kids i keep referring to them as kids as students and, and young adults you could look at them and see yourself in there jeremy you and i are not able to solve the environmental crisis as it is right now if we are going to see it in our lifetime then we need these kids to start getting themselves and by goodness these guys need to influence millions not just the table around them at dinner Rian Mansa, I'm going to thank you, and I'm hoping that uh, Boyketlo Lamula is back with us. Um, just a final question to you then. We were talking about those minus 30 degree temperatures. You've been listening to Rian Mansa outline just how tough it's going to be. Um, are you up to it? Yes, I definitely am. <laughs> All right, uh, Boyketlo, thank you very much indeed. Boyketlo Lamula, uh, good luck to you and the other four exemplary South Africans that have been chosen for this uh, trip to the Antarctica. And uh, Rian Mansa, feather in your cap. I think that it's a wonderful thing that you're doing. This is lunch.